Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to my channel. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. Thank you very much for your support, I really appreciate it. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you five tips or hacks for your kitchen. Tip number one is great for anyone who has a smaller kitchen and doesn't have a lot of counter space, or if you just want to have your counter space open, and that is a hanging fruit basket. In the middle, we usually have the bananas, and then at the bottom, we have the array of grapefruit, apples, pears, that sort of thing. So just arrange it in the way that you like, and it is the perfect little corner accessory. It keeps your fruits available and out of the way. Tip two is to put a strip of chalkboard contact paper on your dishwasher. You can write the letter C or D so that your household knows if the dishes inside are clean or dirty. Tip number three is to use hooks. So I know a lot of people like to put their dish towel, either hang it over the middle separator of the two sinks or to drape it across the faucet. But to keep it completely out of the way, I like to hang it on a command hook. So I have a command hook that sits right on the right side and it holds our brush, which we use for like our water bottles and things like that. It holds the brush as well as the dish towel, keeps it nice and out of the way, and lets everything dry. Another great place to use the command hooks is under the sink. I have gloves that I use to wash dishes on occasion, and so after washing and they're still wet, to clip them with a little binder clip and then hook that onto the little command hook that's on the side of the underneath cabinet. And that's a perfect way to let them dry while they're hanging and they can be it, that hook can be used for anything it doesn't necessarily have to be for gloves but it can be used for anything the other great thing under the sink is to use little organizers so i have these little trays these plastic trays are perfect for organizing your things under your sink they can be used for any number of things tip number four goes along with the underneath the sink situation and when our children were much younger they're slightly older now they're still pretty young but when they were really young we didn't like to put things under the sink where they could open and get into it so to keep from putting the dish detergent under the sink and to prevent from having the big container of dish soap sitting on the sink which I personally don't care for I got this instead I got it from Bed Bath & Beyond. This is an olive oil holder. It can be used for oil and vinegar if you're mixing a salad, but I like to put the dish detergent in there. The last tip that I have for today is tip number five, and that is a bread box. Um, growing up, we kept our bread in the refrigerator, but at this age, I like to keep my bread out. So instead of having the bread in a pantry or on the counter or in the refrigerator, we keep our bread in a bread box. It has a little handle, you just pull the door down, place the bread inside. This one is made out of bamboo. And the other good thing, it's flat on the top so you can put things on top as well. So it's a great option to store your bread and it also serves as a little counter. So let me know in the comments below where you keep your bread. Do you keep it in a bread box? Do you put it on the counter, pantry, or do you store yours in the fridge? Let me know below. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.